All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a verdict in the Leilani Simon trial, and it was just as I predicted. Leilani Simon has been found guilty. I'm Jimmy Gunner. This is Crime Time. Let's do it. Hey, what's going on, everybody? As you guys know, I'm JB Gunner, and this is Crime Time. Now, normally, I would just do my little shilling part right now and say you can donate, join the gun squad. You guys already know that shit. Links are down below. Let's just get right to this. The Leilani Simon case, it is here in Georgia. We're dealing with a case where a woman, uh, well, Quentin Simon, less than two years, 20 months old, I believe he was, his body... Uh, he was a missing child case. He ended up being dumped in a trash can, found in a dumpster. Uh, they had Basically, he was ripped all apart. His mother, Lilani Simon, was arrested uh, several weeks later as she was, uh, well, she continuously kept changing her story. I've watched this whole trial from the start to the finish, and now we have some action. Guys, the verdict has come. I'm going to show it right here with you, and we'll just do it from here. The verdict has come. We'll go ahead and get this thing going. Hopefully, you guys have uh, been waiting on this. I know this is a case going for two years straight. It was a case that I started covering on another channel before I even started this channel. Uh, but Leilani Simon... Uh, clearly, throughout this case, was, was guilty. But here we go. Clearly... I said in my last video earlier, the bitch didn't, she didn't even care. Here we go. It's coming. We're going to get our verdict right now. Uh, and if you guys have not paid attention to this case uh, or this trial, look, man, this is one of the most horrific stories we've seen. This woman has been emotionless this whole time. I said she was smiling and all cocky and all confident. Take a look at her. Look at her smiling still. We see the Tyrone DJ in the back. He's ready to go chill with eat some, some wings at the local wing stop. Uh, and then we got uh, my man right there with the bow tie. He was completely uninterested the whole trial. But we do have a verdict. Let's get to this verdict. Let you guys see it as it happened. Well, it's not as it happens because we're recording this. But uh We're gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Let's see. I'll shut the fuck up. There has a jury. There has been a jury verdict reached. Um, to everyone in, in attendance, and many of you have been here for quite some time, I will ask that there not be any emotional reactions and no disruptive outbursts. So, at this point, I am going to um, ask the four-person please stand, juror five, and have you reached a verdict? Yes, we have. Was it unanimous? Has a verdict been filed in or filled in and signed and dated by you? Yes, it has. And if you would please hand the verdict to Deputy Solomon. Thank you, Deputy Solomon, for handing that up. Here we go. No emotions on this bitch at all. At all. But here comes the verdict. Let you guys see this. You guys got two videos from me today. I'm going to ask counsel to approach and, and take a look at the verdict form. That's kind of weird how the counsel gets to go look at the verdict. I've never seen that done in court before. You, because usually they, you know, 
you know, you don't want the council. Why would you do that so the council can go back and tell them in advance? You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that's just my personal thoughts. But when I started seeing the cops come in, I said to myself, okay. Uh, a lot of times they'll do that to make sure a motherfucker doesn't run out of the courtroom. And that's what I knew. I knew she was guilty anyway, but they didn't have a whole lot of evidence. So I was like, yeah, she might. But as soon as I saw them cops walk in that back door right as there. To the verdict, it reads as follows. Here we go. We, the jury, find as follows. Malice murder. We find the defendant guilty. Guilty. Count two. Look at felony that. murder. Guilty. We find the defendant guilty. Let's see the cops Count starts walking three, up. Felony murder. We find the defendant guilty. Count four. Look how lifeless she is. We find Soulless. The guilty. Count five. False report of a crime. We find the defendant Just completely guilty. soulless. Six, making a false statement. We find the defendant guilty. Count seven. Making a false statement. We find the defendant guilty. Count eight. Making a false statement. We find the defendant guilty. Count nine. Finding a making a false statement. We find the defendant. Guilty. Nineteen counts. Count ten. Making a false statement. We find the defendant guilty. Let's see if she count breaks. 11, making a false statement. Let's see if she breaks. Guilty. Count twelve. Making a false statement. We find the defendant guilty. Count 13, making a false statement, we find the defendant guilty. Count 14, making a false statement, we find the defendant guilty. Count 15, making a false statement, we find the defendant guilty. On everything. Count 16, making a false statement. We Which find I knew the was coming. Guilty. Count 17, making a false statement, we find the defendant guilty. Stone Cold, Leilani Simon. We find the defendant guilty. And count 19. Making a false statement, we find the I wonder, she'll break though at some point here. She's got to. I wonder, she'll give us a tear. And um, <laughs> look at it, look at it. Foghorn leg going over there, whatever the fuck his name is. He just letting it, he just chilling. From the defense. Certainly. Uh, so, uh, so they're going to poll the jury. Street, this is uh, something that very often happens. Um, you will be asked questions by the clerk. Three questions in particular, I believe. Look, man. The Look, man. Madam Basically, the questions, I think we all understand what it is. It's like, was this your, was this, they'll ask each juror, was this your verdict? Is it still your verdict? Blah, blah, blah. That's all it is. Um, and, but at the end of the day, Leilani Simon is guilty. There's not a whole lot else to say. They did say that that uh, sentencing will still be scheduled for a later date. We did not get the sentencing date, but that's 19 charges, including malice murder, murder, and here in Georgia, and she's going to be, well, in fact, let me look that up for you. Let me look that up for you real quick. Malice murder sentencing Georgia. Let's check it out. Malice murder in Georgia. There we go. Yeah, she's fucked. She is fucked. Let me go ahead and put it over here. In Georgia, the sentence for malice murder is life in prison without parole. Life in prison with the possibility of parole after 30 years or the death penalty. Life without parole Life with parole after 30 years or the death penalty. Now, here's the truth. Because Quentin was only 20 months and this was his mom, they may... You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to make a prediction. She's a chick. Chicks get away with everything. They're going to say she had some sort of a postpartum shit, and I guarantee you they're going to give her fucking life with parole after 30 years. That is my prediction when it comes to sentencing. There, she's not going to get the death penalty because nobody ever kills these goddamn broads. She's not going to get life without parole because she's young and she was a dope fiend. They're going to say life with parole after 30 years. Let me know what you guys think. I'm JB Gunner. This is Crime Time. Let me know in the comment section what you got. If you want to support channel, as always, links are down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow.